Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be continuing our geometry playlist and uh, in this video we'll be discussing our final and last uh, center of the triangle and that is the orthocenter. So in the previous two videos, we discussed the circumcenter and the incenter and in this video we'll be discussing the orthocenter. So you might be wondering like what about the centroid of the triangle? Well, unfortunately it tends uh, to be that like the centroid doesn't uh, fit well with angle tracing because like it's just about medians however don't worry about that we'll discuss it like uh, later so in this video we'll be just discussing the orthocenter okay so what are we waiting for let's get started okay so what is the orthocenter well the orthocenter has a very simple definition and that is like it's the concurrency point of the three altitudes of the triangle ABC. So let's simply just draw a uh, triangle ABC first. All right, so that's our triangle ABC. And now basically we just need to draw, to draw three attitudes uh, and they will meet just at H. Okay, so basically we just need to draw actually two attitudes like from B and from C because that's enough to determine our H, our point H. So let's first of all start by drawing the altitudes here. Something like that. And another one here. All right. Let's say first of all, they meet our, like they meet here at the point H. And let's say like this is point B and this is point E. All right, first of all, of course, we have these two angles are pi over two, right angles, because it's an altitude. And actually you can immediately see that uh, H, which is the orthocenter, like we denote to the orthocenter uh, with the letter H, big capital H, is really nice and fits really well with angle chasing. Because guess what? We like immediately have like this angle is a right angle, this angle is a right angle, and that means that we immediately actually can find all the angles related to the orthocenter. And you can see this as at, like at once. So first of all, we aim to find the angle BHC, BHC. So actually, like instead of finding BHC it's much simpler to find the angle BHE. Of course, like they are the same, this angle is the same as this angle. So let's take a look here at this angle. Well, guess what? Here we have a quadrilateral AEHD. Here, this angle is 90 degrees, right angle, another right angle, and this angle is A. So what is this angle? Well, you can just simply sum uh, these uh, four angles and like uh, deduce the value of this angle, or you can actually realize that this is a, a cyclic quadrilateral, like uh, that means like this angle is simply pi minus a. Okay, and like don't worry about uh, like cyclic quadrilaterals because we haven't discussed them yet. Just like sum the angles of uh, this quadrilateral, and you will simply get that this angle must be pi minus a. Okay, of course, like we we aim for this angle, it's the same. So just pi minus a. All right, so now we've like found our first angle, BHC, it's simply pi minus a. Okay, what about this angle and this angle? Like, can we find them? Of course. Well, what is this angle? Uh, let's start with this one here. Well, take a look. Like, we know, like what, what is the thing that we know about uh, the orthocenter? We have lots of altitudes, right? So take a look here. Like this angle is a 90 degrees, right? We want to find this one. However, this one is B. So by examining the triangle CBE, we get that it's a, right, it's a right triangle. And we know that this is B. That means simply that this angle is pi over two minus B. Of course, in the same way, we can deduce that this angle here is pi over two minus C. All right, so basically now, like we've computed everything, like this angle is pi minus A, this angle is pi over two minus b, and this one is pi over two minus c. All right, so like you need to memorize this thing, 
about the ortho center like now actually if you if you uh, notice like all our three centers of triangle we've linked them like this angle here b our points and c like this angle is always related and can be evaluated just by knowing the value of a so now actually if i for example told you that the angle a is 30 degrees you can immediately find everything so for example this angle here will be uh, uh, 180 degrees minus 30 meaning it's 150 uh, like if we have uh, uh, the circumcenter then this one will be 2 times 30 and that's 60 degrees and if we had actually the in center like it will be uh, 90 degrees plus half of a meaning like half of 30 that's 15 meaning like it will be 105 degrees so if I just told you the value of a you I would be able to find uh, the angle like B something C, always, like for the orthocenter, circumcenter, and the incenter as well. And here actually is a nice thing. You might be wondering what happens if our triangle is, uh, is not acute, like this case. What if it's uh, like, what if it was obtuse? However, actually, like still, we will have this angle is pi minus A, BHC. However, here actually is a really nice thing because take a look here. Like here, the triangle BHC, Let's take a look at our triangle BHC instead of BAC. Like, what is the orthocenter of triangle BHC? Can you guess BHC? Well, in fact, it's A. First of all, you can realize that one of these two angles must be obtuse because they sum up to pi, so one of them must be greater than pi over 2. So let's actually assume that this, this triangle is ABC. Like, let's say that this is A here. And this is A. And this actually will be H. Let's see why. Uh, this will be H. Well, actually, uh, what is the, like, first of all, we, we should, we must have BH is perpendicular to CA, right? Because this is our triangle. So in order for H, this point here, to be uh, uh, the orthocenter, we must have like BH is perpendicular to AC. And in fact, they are. Take a look here at E, like this is 90 degrees. And of course, the same holds here. Like we must have CH is perpendicular to BA. And in fact, they are. Take a look here. We have another perpendicular segments here, uh, which are like BD and HC. So guess what? Uh, like if this was A, then this will be H. And if this was A, then this will be H. So like here we have like a duality actually between A and H. And of course, like that means if like in this case we have this is our triangle, then this angle still like will be pi minus this angle. And this angle is pi minus this angle. So like nothing like, uh, like we here we don't have any problem just like the, like, like the circumcenter uh, where we had to deal with two cases. So basically, the in center and the ortho center, you don't need to worry about uh, whether the triangle is obtuse or acute in order to reduce the angle BHC or BIC. Just on the uh, circumcenter, you need to discuss the two cases. All right, so now we've discussed our three centers of triangle the uh, circumcenter, the in center, and the ortho center. We know all the angles related to them. And now in the next videos, we'll be discussing. Uh, much uh, interesting uh, stuff about them, like relating uh, these three, uh, these three points actually, and like we will examine each point and find re really a set of nice properties for each uh, center of triangle. But like since now we know all the angles uh, of these three centers of triangle, everything from now on will be really easy. So I hope guys you enjoyed these videos. And if you did, then please uh, like the video, share and subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next video.